Hello, thanks for joining me. This is Susan's upper body workout. If your name isn't Susan, that's okay. You can still do this workout, but this workout is dedicated to Susan, my dear, dear friend. She used to be my boss. Now she's just my friend. Isn't it cool how things can just segue seamlessly like that? No, it's not cool. It's a testament to Susan. So Susan, on Instagram, you reached out to me and you asked me for an upper body workout. I'm here to give it to you. If your name isn't Susan, even if your name's Karen, you're welcome to join this class. So what we need for class today is a chair and a set of hand weights. That's all we need. We also probably want the ground because we will go down to the ground at the end. I'm gonna try to keep us from doing too many push-ups because I know a lot of our wrists don't like it, but still, we're gonna start with the wrist warm-up. So interlace your fingers and roll the wrists out. Try to keep the crease of the wrist as close together as you can. So those two wrists right by each other. Oh, my hands pop, crackle, crunch so much when I do this. And then switch direction. Good, rolling out the wrists. Okay, great. And now we're gonna do a squat arm reach, nice and smooth. Down, up. Ooh, I just recorded a lower body workout. So my knees were like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We just did this. Don't worry knees, we are not doing any more squats in today's class other than this part. If you want lower body workouts and upper body workouts and total body workouts and no body workouts, out of body workouts, you can take some LSD and you can join my Facebook group, Emily Stewart Fitness Extra, where I post workouts five days a week. You only get one workout on YouTube a week, but if you join the Facebook group, you can get five workouts a week. What's better than one? Five. Circle your arms in the opposite direction. You have it up already. Mm, five seconds. There is no cardio in today's workout because Susan doesn't need cardio at home. Susan's out there in the world. I think she told me she cycles. She cycles. She bikes. Uh, she walks in protest of the elimination of women's rights. I don't know if Susan does that, actually. I don't know if Susan does that. But she's a pretty uh, open-minded chick. So I wouldn't be surprised. Four, three, two, and one. Pull one arm over, roll the shoulder back, and then lift and lower it. Oh, my shoulder just popped. Ooh. And open, switch, other shoulder over, lift and lower it. Ooh. Great. And then open, one hand behind the head. We are gonna do tricep work today. Go side to side with the head. And then other side. Did you see that? Did you see how I just brought my hands behind my butt? We're gonna do it again. I call it the stinky fart. Here you go, behind, up, behind. Up, trying to bring a different hand closer to the butt each time. Moving your hands across your hips just like you farted and you want that stank to go away. Here's four, three, two, and one. Release. Let's get some cats and cows. Hands to our sides. Pull the abs in. Open everything. Pull it in. Open it, two more. Whoa, sorry about that big breath. Whoa, it's a hurricane. The wind just picked up. Weird. And slowly roll up. Good. Okay, so we're gonna start with what's called arm dancing. It's not as fun as it sounds. It's like, yeah, we're gonna have a party. This isn't a party, it's meant to burn. So push through your, <laughs> you should, Ben, mm. this should probably not yes, be. Yes, take shown. off 
your middle Ooh, finger. Make sure Take you it. X it out or black it out. Okay, you got it? It's not showing, right? That's better. Thanks, Ben. Okay, anyway, push through those fingers the whole time. Ready? Draw big circles with your hands, your shoulders, and your elbows. Now this one, you don't need to have a certain form. Just wiggle those arms around. And make sure that you're really pushing through the middle finger the whole time. I want big circles here. Keep going. So if your back hurts during this section, because we're gonna be like standing here wiggling our arms for a long time, then please sit down in that chair. Okay, ready? Straight arms, circle. Good. Pretty big circles, the entire circumference of those shoulders. So arm dancing is a way to create longer, uh, potentially leaner arm muscles, maybe some tone without adding more muscle, any potential bulk. But honestly, uh, it takes a lot to add bulk to any given muscle group. So don't worry too much about it. But I love this because it's a great way to activate the muscles, switch directions, and get the burn going. And get it going. Good. It's kind of boring, but music makes it more fun. So thank you, Ben, so much for adding our music. Ben is the video editor. He's the one that makes sure the music and my voice sound good. I do have music in my Facebook group, but Ben guarantees it sounds good. Sometimes you'll hear his music in our classes. Ready, hand out in. Good. Ben, now would be a good time to put in some of your music. here but postural the body ready go not pasta like spaghetti I am Italian but I'm not talking about pasta I'm talking about postural mm -hmm. Ben uh, is speaks Israeli in case you haven't watched some of my other videos he voices over some of my workouts in Israeli uh, so sometimes I have to explain these words to Ben so Ben, this is postural, not pasta, not pastures. Okay, no problem, pasta break. Ugh. 
Okay, release. So now we're gonna go to those push-ups and we are gonna do push-ups on the chair. Even if you are capable of doing push-ups on the ground on your toes. I want our chest all the way to the chair. Studies show that we will get a stronger chest the lower down we can get it in between our hands. So we're gonna do it on the chair and we're gonna touch it every time. We've got three rounds of 30 seconds of work. Starting in five seconds. Ready? Go. So chest right there. Get up on your tiptoes here. Good. It sucks to have to repeat exercises. It's not fun. It's kind of boring. I know. But when we do multiple rounds of the same exercise, studies also show it's more likely to lead to hypertrophy and strength building. So more visible muscles and stronger muscles. Ugh, stretch back. Give yourself a good stretch. This is the other reason we do this because it's so nice to stretch on the chair. Ready? Round two, three, go. 30 seconds. You can go slower than me or faster than me. After this, we won't use our chair unless you want to sit down on it. We will use it again at the very end. So, 10 seconds. Five seconds. Ow. And pull back. You get a little bit of a longer break this time because you're probably feeling tired. Five more seconds till we go. Wiggle those hips if you'd like. God, this feels so good. I wish we could do this for the rest of the out workout. Go! You might notice with a traditional chair, this more narrow grip, this more triceps work. Studies also show though that a narrow grip is more likely to increase the chest muscles. That's exciting. 10 seconds. Ugh. Five seconds. And rest. Roll back this time. Flip your palms face up. Ugh. Stretch. Mm -mm -mm. Good. And now slowly curve your spine up. Okay. So, follow along with me for this next part. We are going to do one move multiple times, and in between each round of that move, we will do a different exercise. So, it's going to be a ventral raise, forward, open, side, side, front, down. In between that, we'll do another move one time. Go back to the ventral, another move, another time. It's 50 second intervals, five zero, only 10 seconds rest. So I suggest grabbing a lighter set of hand weights. I think these are probably like three kilograms, so it's, they're not heavy. Starting in 10 seconds with our first round of ventral raises. Sit down if you want to. Ready? Go. Good. And to the front. So especially because we have lighter hand weights here, we can do this for a longer time. If you have heavy hand weights, those are all you have access to. Or if you're using like gallons of water uh, that are pretty heavy, then you can always do less time and more rest. So instead of 50 seconds, you could give yourself something more like, uh, you know, 30 seconds with a 20 second break. Something like that. Front. Open, close, 10 seconds. You don't have to go fast, especially with hand weights. It's all about the control. And sometimes I will actually have you go fast and slow. Release. Okay, so we're gonna bring our hands over our head for a tricep extension with the weights together. Pull the front rib cage in. Ready, go. Oh, this is gonna get my double ponytails. My guy calls this my sumo hair. Or, no, he calls it my samurai hair. <laughs> I call it my hair is in that annoying in-between stage. Mm -hmm. Where it can't be all the way up and it can't be all the way down. 
Yeah, comment below if you've been in that stage. He shouldn't make fun of me because he used to have long hair, so he totally knows what this stage is all about. But the, the like, minute we started dating, which was basically the minute we went on our first date. Anyway, I was like, why the F do you have long hair? Long hair is extremely annoying. And actually at that time I had really, really short hair. And uh, ready, rest. He was like, you know, that's a really good point. <laughs> and he cut his hair pretty shortly thereafter. Ready, go. I loved that he had long hair. I thought he looked so good with it. I and mean, he had always had long hair. Um, but it's so annoying to have long hair. It gets everywhere. You have to shower more often. You have to buy products for it. The short haired life, guys. But so now I just cut my hair after three years. I cut it, I grew it for three years, and then I cut it again. That's like the lowest maintenance I can possibly create. <laughs> uh, keep it going. Soften those knees. 20 seconds. 10 seconds. So we're going to another tricep move here. We're gonna burn out certain muscle groups. Oh, relax, relax. Yes, not 10 seconds, that was it. We're on 50 second intervals, 10 seconds rest. Okay, tricep kickbacks, ready, go. Elbows stay high here, both arms are moving. I'm quite bent over because that's comfortable for my back, but if it bothers your back, just stand up higher. The most important thing here is to keep those elbows lifted way up. Good, long spine. All the weights back over your heels. Ugh. 30 seconds. Soften your hands around that hand weight. And then 10 seconds. Ugh. Five. Two, one. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? You ready for another round of ventral raises? Yeah, so ready. Go. If it makes you feel any better, I did this workout last night too. So two days in a row. I say, I vote no arms tomorrow. No arms. I didn't do this exact same workout, but something similar. And it had this section. So this is some ab work too. So to keep yourself upright when your hands move, to not fall back, to not fall to the side, to not fall to the front. Ten seconds. Where are your feet? It should be about under your hips, not too wide. And release, Ugh. Okay, tricep movement here. One only, elbows out to the side, hands behind the head, ready, go. You can also just hold that uh, arm in place so that it doesn't slip forward, backward, or side to side. Hands on your rib cage can help as well. I love unilateral arm work uh, because it forces us not to use our favorite side more. The other reason I love it in this class is because we're gonna do the other arm and then we're gonna do ventral raises. Kind of nice. Take a little bit of a break here. Good. Hold those abs in tight. 10 seconds. And actually, I shouldn't have said, I shouldn't have said pull them in. The abs are not active when they're pulled in. They're active when they're hardened, when they're activated. So you don't need to feel like you just got sucker punched. Just, you know, engage them. And they might stick out a little bit. That's fine. Ready? Go. I've spent years thinking that if I tried to pull my abs toward my spine, that would engage them. And it does engage them to an extent, but it doesn't use them. You know, when we really use them well, 
they actually kind of lay on top of the rib cage and they pull it in and down. Ugh. This side, I'm struggling for control. So I'm gonna bring my other arm there just for that additional tactile support. Good. 10 seconds. Final five. And release. Okay, ventral right is time. And then we're moving out of tricep zone. Ready? Go. One of the reasons I chose this exercise is because you've got almost every major muscle in the arm, as well as some on the upper back, active. So you basically get everything in one go. I also just kind of find it interesting take some control to move the hands up out to the side and then back. So I feel like it's a little less boring <laughs> than some other work. I love arm workouts though, because at least for me, I can get the tone pretty fast. You know, there's other parts of my body that are a little bit fudgier, but the arms seem to react pretty well. Five seconds. And rest. Okay, so next, I love this version of a bicep curl. We go up, flip the hands, and go down. Ready? And go. Keep the elbows tucked in close to the body the entire time. Up, twist, front, lower. How are you doing, Susan? I'm so glad we got back in touch. Susan and I both worked together in an organization that helped refugees. I was uh, helping teach English, but I also did it as part of my undergraduate thesis. Susan was so cool to me at that time. I was a little bit cray cray, honestly, at that time in my life. I'm not sure if she realized. I think she knows now, but that's when I was struggling a lot with my eating disorder. And she just loved me anyway, despite my cray, relax. And she's loved me, from what I can tell, ever since then. I love her, not just because she loves me, but that is pretty awesome. <laughs> Ready, go. She's one of those people who sees people for their soul, you know, no matter what country you were from, no matter how old you were, she treated all of her students the same in the English language classes that she taught. And we were seeing, you know, asylum seekers and refugees. Some of those people came to us with some pretty intense histories, um, you know, and maybe a little sometimes defiance, sometimes, you know, antagonism. And Susan always just, you know, took it in stride. So impressed with her. But that, honestly, most people were just loving and grateful to learn English and to be in the USA. It was an awesome learning experience, relax. And I had some of the best Nepalese food of my life through friends I met from you, Susan, thank you. Guys, ready? Overhead press. We left biceps and we're going into the press. Honestly, we don't need to do too much bicep work. Your bicep works your biceps work in most other arm motions, including this press. Now you'll notice I opened my feet slightly wider for this. Because the hands are overhead, I need a bit of a wider base just to make sure I don't topple forward or backward. You might as well, especially if you're long-legged and short torsoed like me. Torsoed? Torpedoed? No! <laughs> Torso! <laughs> <laughs> Dorso, I tell ya. <laughs> it's kind of a funny <laughs> southern accent. Hand release. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was so funny to me. Sound like uh, Matthew McConaughey. Torso. <laughs> Ready? Go. Anyway, if you have a short torso and long legs, you should probably open your stance wider, like me, when your arms are over your head. Uh, and up and down. The next 
wrist motion is my favorite arm motion of all, but we have to get there. We are over halfway through this workout. Aren't you in luck? Ten seconds. Five seconds. And rest. <laughs> okay, what is this excellent move, Emily? Well, this is it. Supinate your hands. So my hands face front. Lift all the way up and go all the way down. Do it again. I said lift. I, sh I Well, I said lift. I meant to say lift. But my arms are tired, as yours probably are too. And this is a big lift. So I was like, ugh. Good. Yes, we have one more motion and one more round of our ventral raises. And then we finish up with something on the chair and then we are out. 10 seconds. Five. Whose arms are getting tired? Mine are. Oh. Okay, you ready for the final round of ventral raises? This is the final one. I know. Yes, I am ready. <sighs> Go. <sighs> I'm like, I'm like clenching my jaw. That doesn't help. It doesn't help. Stay loose. I don't know why they say the word loosey goosey, other than that it rhymes, because geese are not loose. Geese are like tight, intense, mean animals. That's not true. I think, no, actually, pretty sure all geese are mean. I was thinking of ducks. Ducks are nice. I was once told, I was once told my spirit animal was a baby goose. by my Rinky therapist. I love her, Carrie Varela. Shout out to you. I was like, what? <laughs> Go. <laughs> she was like, I'm getting baby goose vibes from you. <laughs> if anyone knows what a baby goose vibe is, <laughs> like what does that convey? <laughs> you should comment below. Tell me what a baby goose vibe means to you. I know it meant wonderful things to Carrie. Anything Carrie does, I am a buyer of. Love that woman. But <laughs> that was one of the funnier things I've been told in my life. <laughs> I'm crying a little bit right now. I can't wipe my eyes. I don't know why this is so funny right now. And release, you're done. Have I mentioned to you that I'm a professional? That right now I'm working, okay? I'm very professional. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do our tricep dips. This is quickly falling apart. Is it wine o'clock yet? Wine o'clock? Okay. Shake out those arms. That was good. That was enjoyable. All right, now we're gonna do what we do with push-ups, but instead of tricep dips. And this is actually the last thing that we have in this arm workout, okay? So we come down to our chair. You can also do this on the ground. Instead, you bring your feet forward. Try not to use those legs. And I'm gonna give you a couple options so that you don't. First though, we just go straight down and up. You ready? Go. That was kind of a quick transition. So if you're a little late, that's okay. I'll give us a longer break before the next round so you can make up for it. Yep, no, I'm not giving you an actual break. I'm saying if you started late because I did not cue well, you have no excuses. You still gotta finish your full 30 seconds. Five seconds. And relax or keep going. We have 15 second break here. 
For the next round, I'm gonna say, if you want, cross one ankle over the opposite thigh, so you only have one leg, and then maybe you don't use it. Ready, go. Looking over your nose to the horizon. So keep your chin up, that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, you can look down and over your nose, so that was a bad cue. I should have said, like, lift your chin up and look far away from your body. Oh. <laughs> Five seconds. Sit down. <laughs> okay, we're doing another 15 second break. My arms feel like french fries that sat in the deep fryer too long. Okay, other side. Ready, go. I also switched feet. This is your final bit of power. Don't lose the form. Keep the elbows pulling close together. Press the bottom heel to the ground. 15 seconds. Ow. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Two and one.
grab onto your middle finger. <laughs> then you don't, I'm not doing anything bad. You don't need to make this. What is the word I'm looking for? Grab onto your first finger. What is it when they make all the little boxy things so you can't actually see? Like when someone has their um, vagina out. I mean, grab your thumb. I do have a video, by the way, if you guys haven't done it, where I take off my pants at the end. What's that called? You just make it splotchy so you can't see it. Comment below what that's called. Uh, other hand. Pinky. Ring finger. You deserve to marry yourself. Middle finger. You also deserve that. Everyone deserves a middle finger. Let's be honest. First finger. Um. Wiggle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Give yourself a bow. Thank you so much for joining me here on YouTube. Please join me on Facebook, join me on TikTok, join me on Instagram. All of those links are below. And uh, Susan, thank you for putting all of us through this horrible torture. I'm not gonna link Susan. I'm not gonna link you below because people are gonna come chase you down. Why did we have to do so many ventral raises, Susan? I know you're not happy with that, Ben. There.